Hey riders, how's it going? It's Paul with another Ride Home Review. Uh, this week I watched Atomic Blonde, a uh, movie directed by David Leitch, uh, starring Charlize Theron, James McAvoy, John Goodman, and Toby Jones. Um, what the movie's about, um, it takes place in 1989, just before the Berlin Wall fell and it takes place in Berlin in 1989 and it is basically a spy thriller cat and mouse that type of that type of thing all uh, uh, revolving around a certain list that one person holds that names all these agents in from the West Western Western world France Germany uh, UK, United States, and they're trying to get get this guy to safety. Um, what I really liked about this movie uh, was stylistically it was it was great. The production design was absolutely spectacular. Um, the soundtrack was very good, and yeah, uh, the editing was was really top-notch um i really enjoyed a lot of the the aesthetics to the film i thought it was a really really well done um in that regard uh, charlie theron and james mcavoy uh, were absolutely awesome and there's uh quite a few surprises um in that in that and uh um so i mean and it's action-packed, very action-packed. If you're looking for a, a good spy action thriller, this this movie's for you. It really is is good in that regard. A lot of really good action scenes. It's very gory, um, and so on. Um, what I didn't like about the movie was um, I thought the story dragged in, in certain parts. I didn't really care for the cliche of the um, the interview. The debrief. I, I just uh, thought it was all right. I mean, I could see what they were going with, but there wasn't a whole lot of surprises. I thought the story was a little stale in that regard. And also, you know, I didn't think that they had McAvoy and, and Theron on screen together enough. Um, I would like to have seen a little bit more of their chemistry and draw that out. Um, Sporting cast was fine, but I just, I don't know, I just felt it just didn't have the punch I was expecting, and it's not a long movie, but it, it felt long in some regards. Now, with all that being said, the aesthetics were great, you know, the story, eh, um, what to watch for. The, oh, the final scene of trying to get out of Berlin. Um, the fight scene with Charlie's there on that scene was incredible uh, the camera work and I can't say much about the editing here because it basically was almost one giant take uh, of her going on multiple floors fighting multiple people the choreography of that was absolutely spectacular wait till you see that it was just it's going to be a scene that's going to be dissected. I can tell from that from now that it's going to be one of those things that's uh, it was cinematic greatness right there. So just for that, you should check out the movie. But all in all, it was an okay movie, not great. Well, that's it for this week. Next week, I believe, uh, is another another good one with weapons. You just wait and see what that one is and so but in the meantime if you enjoy this share like comment on this video what did you think and plus subscribe to our youtube channel or if you like to listen to it on the go or subscribe to our podcast on itunes uh, i look forward to these i look forward to hearing what your comments are and and all that but please subscribe to our channels like us on facebook instagram all the like and until next week keep on watching those movies have a good night.